Got so nervous I couldn't speak In that very moment I found the one And my life had found its Missing peace So as long as I live I love you Will heaven The most important part of your wedding is the exchange of your wedding vows. By taking your vows from principles of Scripture, you're publicly acknowledging that God's Word is the final authority for your lives. But you're also going to need the presence and power of the Holy Spirit day by day to enable you to keep the promises that you're going to make. These promises are going to take only a couple minutes to say, but they will take a lifetime to fulfill. For the declaration of consent. Andrew, will you have this woman to be your wife? I do. To live together in a holy state of marriage. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Okay. Jackie, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Now for the exchange of the vows. And you would you please repeat your vows after me. I love you. I love you. And because of that love. And because of that love. And in the knowledge that God has brought us together. And in the knowledge that God has brought us together. I, Andrew, take you, Jackie. I, Andrew, take you, Jackie. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love, honor, and cherish until death us do part. To love, honor, and cherish until death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge you my faithfulness. And thereto I pledge you my faithfulness. Jackie, would you please repeat your vows after me? I love you. I love you. And because of that love. And because of that love. And in the knowledge that God has brought us together. And in the knowledge that God has brought us together. I, Jackie, take you, Andrew. I, Jackie, take you, Andrew. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. 
in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, cherish, and obey till death us do part. To love, cherish, and obey till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto and I there. pledge you my faithfulness. And thereto I pledge you my faithfulness. Uh -huh. Andrew, what do you give Jackie as a symbol of your marriage vows before your bride, both your families, and your friends? All right. Give you this ring. Say this. Follow after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of the covenant. As a sign of the covenant. I made with you before God and before man. I made you before God and before man. To take you as my one and only wife. To take you as my one and only wife. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Or until Christ who saved us by grace. Or until Christ who saved us by grace. Return to take us unto himself forever. Return to take us unto himself forever. Okay. Jackie, what do you give Andrew as a symbol of your marriage vows before your groom, both your families, and your friends? Repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of the covenant. As a sign of the covenant. I made with you before God and before man. I made with you before God and before man. To take you as my one and only husband. To take you as my one and only husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Or until Christ who saved us by grace. Or until Christ who saved us by grace. Return to take us unto himself forever. Return to take us unto himself forever. Okay. I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Andrew, you may now kiss your bride. Well, I wish we were closer here. There are some words that are going back and forth from Jackie and Andrew, and they're interesting. <laughs> if you're good to me, I'll clue you in. Now, we thank God for today. I want to thank God for parents from both sides, friends, loved ones. Uh, we want to thank God for the pastor that has uh, uh, celebrated this occasion with this beloved. We thank God for the entourage and the girls and the boys that are helping with this wedding. Lord, we thank you for this day. I'm not going to be long, only two hours. <laughs> uh, my words are first to all of us who have come. We thank you for coming to attend the wedding or the uniting together of Andrew and Jackie. Don't they look good? Yes. <laughs> and you look good too. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, word of caution to all of us have come, who have come. First, to parents from both sides. I want to appreciate the work that you have done. Mama and Papa, Daddy and Mommy, wonderful job. Let's clap our hands. The Bible has told us that for this reason, Andrew and Jackie will leave their parents, their dad and mom, and cleave. And the two are going to become one for all the work you have done, for all the support that you have given. We pray that you let this be one. Let them go. Yeah. Parents, let go. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You remember when they told you they were 18? This is what they meant. This is what they meant. 
they, they, they are now ready to fly, to do their own thing, to become one, to be together, to love one another, to cherish one another, to love and to hold, give them space. And to all the friends that have come to the wedding, whoa, wonderful job. Thank you for coming, but it ends here. Remain friends, call them when you come, but let them be husband and wife. Amen. Uh, when we asked, is there anybody that has any reason that uh, this shouldn't be added together, nobody raised their hand. So be quiet now, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> For Andrew and uh, Jackie, the Bible has told us that uh, wives respect your husbands and husbands love your wives. Yeah. Yeah. Respect yeah. or submit even as the church submits to Christ and love yeah. even as Christ loved the church. Mm -hmm. Do Jackie a favor. She hasn't been a wife before. Do Andrew a favor. He hasn't been a husband to me. He has been loved as a son. Those people have loved him as a son, but he has never been loved as a husband. <laughs> and true. the same to Jackie. Love her. Nobody is going to love her for you. I mean, their pa the parents love her as a daughter. They, these friends, they love her as a, a workmate, a classmate, uh, I don't know what she does for work, but I... Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, what, church mate? Is that what she does for work? <laughs> this guy told me that he works on submarines. You have people there that respect you for what you do, but nobody is going to respect you as a husband except Jackie. Please do a good job. Respect your husband. Let him feel urged to come home quickly because there is somebody waiting for him to receive him. So is Jackie. Now I've told people that if you want to test hell before you go there, you want to know so you can test it, have a terrible home. Have a terrible marriage. Then you will test hell even before you go there. Yeah. But if you want to test heaven before you go there, have a wonderful family. I mean, husband can't wait to run home to go and see and share what the day was. So even the wife can't help to receive the husband as he comes home. Amen. Amen. So love one another, respect one another, work together, uh, cherish one another, encourage one another, in Jesus' name. Beloved, the Bible has told us that this is a mystery. Marriage is a mystery. Signifying another picture, greater picture of a yeah. wedding yeah. that is coming very soon. Jesus Christ coming back for the bride to take him home. We are on rehearsal right now. Are you ready when the groom comes? Amen. Have you prepared your lives? Look at how marvelous and Glorious she looks, prepared for Andrew. Can you imagine if she came and uh, the dress was all wrinkled up and dirty and uh, all of us was like, hey, what, what is happening? But she looks good and all of us, brother, I'm not done yet. <laughs> push the button. See if they, you know, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm just talking about the wedding that is coming. Christ is coming back for the bride. Are you ready when he comes? When you go back home from this wedding, let that remind you of a wedding that is coming. Prepare your lives. Clean up. Take away all the rumor, the rage, the anger, the unforgiveness, the uh, whatever you do that deadens your garments as you wait for this groom that is coming. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that you will lead these, our beloved, in your marvelous hands. I pray a blessing upon them. 
bless them in the city and bless them in the country. Let whatever they touch be multiplied in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living. And bless their, uh, their thoughts and imaginations. Give them big dreams, O oh God. Make them a blessing unto others, a light and a salt of the earth. Let people desire to be married because of their marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We pray that you will multiply them, give them children in the name of Jesus, and make them reach the heads and never the tail. We bless you, we worship you, and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we were just kids when we fell in love, not knowing what it was. I will not give you up this the fire.
serve this special meal. So they are going to be here. The camera crew, if you don't mind, get closer. Metron and Bestman, please come closer here. Metron and Bestman, can you remind her to be closer here and the best man? Don't disrupt her. She's still busy here. We want to enjoy this moment with you on the other side. It's, oh, it's okay on the other side. Right there, it's okay? Okay. Jackie wants to serve this special meal. This is the first meal she has prepared for her special husband. And at the count of three, you'll go ahead and cut that cake. Let's say one together. And let's say two. We are not saying three in Chinese. We are saying three in English. Three. Amen. So, Jackie, take the honor to serve your husband. Take the moment. Thank you. And I heard Andrew say, I have never tasted this meal. He was saying that this is like really yams from Uganda. Oh, and Andrew says, I better serve my wife too. I have to live by example. I'm not only doing this here, but this is what is going to be happening in our home. So Andrew, please go ahead. Serve your wife. Serve your wife. Just oh, wow. Follow what a job. Thank you. You say that. Well, thank I you, honey. And Andrew wants to serve her with a drink as well. You say that every I time we're going to have a meal in our home, so you will also have to drink something. So they are serving them. We, we thank you for the special love, meal. Thank you. We do thank you for coming to the special day for the wedding of Andrew and Jackie. And I guess what I want to say, when I'm thinking about Andrew, I think about him, one of my first or more distinct memories of him was as a toddler. And I used to pick Andrew up and say, you are a delightful child. Sorry. When I think of Andrew, I think of he's thoughtful, he's sensitive, he's considerate, but he's very deliberate. He, he doesn't do much for any kind of fan, fanfare or recognition, but he does things out of um, a heart that's intent on doing what he knows is right. And probably about maybe a year and a or year and a half ago I said to Dave I said you know what I think it's time for Andrew to get married it's time for him to find a wife and I don't think it was two months later when Andrew we were in Tennessee and he showed us a picture of Jackie and he said this is the, this is my girlfriend this is the woman I found so I knew at that point that this is what God had for him and Jackie, welcome to our family. We love you, and we're very thankful to have you as part of us. Yes, Andrew and Jackie, we love you, and welcome, Jackie, to our family and your family. And God bless you for a long life and prosper in the Lord. And lots of grandchildren. Good evening, everyone. Hi. My name is Patrick Senfuma, and I'm the older brother of David Kasasa. I wanted to thank everybody for coming in on this wonderful day. And I want to begin my speech by uh, thanking David and his wonderful wife for um, accepting us to be part of your family. I would like to invite everybody, giving a big round of applause to that family. May God protect you.
May God give you long life and happiness in your marriage all the days of your life. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the glory and honor belongs to Jesus. Amen. Can you give... Can you clap for Jesus? This is the moment for our Jesus. He has done it. Jackie, Kongs, Jackie and Andrew. Andrew, you are welcome to the Cassessa family. Jackie, thank you for being a wonderful daughter. You've been a great, a great sister to David and Darlene. And sometimes I forget that you are my daughter. I see you as my sister. I see Jackie as my counselor. I see Jackie as my best friend. Thank you so much. I want to thank God for my lovely husband for being a good dad to Jackie. I thank God for my in-laws, the same for my mommy, uh, uh, mama mobile, everybody. We thank God for the church. In Africa, a child is not raised by one family. It's raised by the community. Every community member has a stake in a child's life. One of the greatest community is the church. Take away your child from the, from the church, you lose that child. I just want to thank Pastor, Pastor Katende, Pastor Mutiava, and the wife, the elders, and Pastor Segobe, the youth pastor. We have an organized youth ministry as global. And I'm proud of all the youth, all the youth. Thank you for very much for inspiring my daughter, for all the support, all the friends. Thank you so much. I, just want, I want to thank my family in Uganda. I'm going to use Uganda so that my mother can understand what I'm saying. I'm going to nail down because my mother will watch this video. Mama, webale nyo webale dala, okukuza jake. Bonaba ganda bangen beba za. Okubera wo, okukuza jaki. Mueva lenyo, mueva dala. Man, I'm, I'm really good friends with Andrew, and, and I wanted to just introduce myself because me and Andrew go way back. Um, I've known Andrew as long as I can remember, uh, literally. I, I think it was in maybe early middle school we uh, started playing rec soccer together, and We've done so many things since. We, we became friends really quickly. We went through high school together. Um, we've gone hiking and hunting and, and camping and backpacking. And we spent a lot of time um, getting to know each other and, and hanging out. And, and over the years, it's been a pleasure. Um, Andrew visited me when I was in California on his way to Korea to teach English. And we did some hiking out there. And, and uh, with Andrew, he's one of those friends who's easy to catch up with. Uh, one of those friends who uh, we just pick up where we left off. Whether we've talked for six months um, or we've talked for six days, it's easy to just pick up where we left off. And we all have those friends, and Andrew is that friend for me. You know, when I was listening or when I was watching you guys have your first dance over here, I don't know about you guys, but I, I teared up a little bit. I was getting a little emotional just thinking about all the, the moments that we've shared together over the years. It's been a really, uh, you know, we've shared our lives together, really. Um, and I can't say that about all my friends, you know, but, but you're the one that, that I've, I've gone back the furthest with and I've known the longest and it's been a consistent rock in my life. Um, yeah. Andrew, you're consistent, you're disciplined, you're driven, devoted, and you're pretty hilarious. Uh, we always have a good time. Angie's loyalty is strong, and it's easy to be around him, and uh, it helps when we have our own inside jokes and everything. Uh, one, of, one of the marks of a true friend, I believe, is, is someone that is safe to be yourself around, that you feel comfortable with. 
um, that you can uh, you can share deep things with. And Andrew, uh, you know, he's that friend that, that it's not just service level friendship. It's not just uh, small talk and stuff, but, but because of our faith in Jesus and our pursuit of him, we can pray together and we can talk about, you know, uh, things we're struggling with. We can talk about life. We can talk about what's going on. And, and uh, he also brings out the best in me. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Now, I want to say this about Andrew. I've been to many weddings, um, but Andrew, uh, he's a champ. Uh, today, uh, he hasn't been stressed or nervous, um, and he certainly hasn't been questioning his decision to marry Jackie. Um, and that's how I know that this is the Lord, uh, that this is uh, proof that their marriage has been ordained, not of man's choice, but of God's. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's a friend that sticks closer and then a brother, and Andrew is that friend for me. Yeah. And I'm honored to be standing here today by your side. Yeah. Yeah. And Jackie, you're a huge uh, blessing to Andrew. Um, and I look forward to vid visiting you guys both frequently in your new home. <laughs> I heard you guys have a second bedroom, so, you know, if there's any openings, let me know. Uh, also, I got the privilege of going to, uh, to Jackie's church uh, last weekend, and um, you guys uh, have an incredible community. It was an incredible privilege to be able to see uh, how you guys interact as a community and as a church. Um, that's something that is a little different than how I've grown up, and I, I just want to honor you guys and say thank you for... Uh, for having such a strong community and for inviting me into your home and for uh, allowing Jackie to marry Andrew and being a part of their lives, you know? So, yeah. So, I just uh, want to pray real quick. So, God, I just thank you right now for Andrew and Jackie, and I just bless this union in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you have uh, this amazing adventure for them. I pray that they would be fruitful Father, that you'd bless the work of their hands in their marriage. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Sean. <laughs> um, Jackie, I am so, so happy for you and Andrew. Um, thank you for choosing me to be your maid of honor. Um, it's been fun, you know, doing this with you, helping you out with everything. You know, you're a very easy person. You're patient. You're understanding. It's, it's not been stressful. It's been great doing this for you. And I would, you know, I'd do anything for you, and you know that. Um, quick story. Um, when Jackie finished school, um, when you finished LPN, um, she called me very excited. And I said, Jackie, you've been so busy with school. What are you doing now? And she said, I think I'm ready for like the next step in life. I'm ready to be married. I'm ready to, you know, move on. And I was like, okay, are you seeing someone? And she said, yeah. I started talking to someone. And I've never seen you so happy. I've never seen you so excited about someone the way you were excited about Andrew, you know? And and I just want to thank you for making her so happy, for putting a smile on her face. Um, I'm so proud of you guys, you know, for the journey that you've taken. Um, you know, people will say it's been a quick journey, but when you know, you know, and you knew that, and you, you know, you didn't want to wait, you didn't want to pass the chance, and you know, you proposed and took her on, and you met her friends, and you you were involved, you wanted to know everyone, you wanted to do everything with us, and I just want to thank you for being the person that you are. Um, Jackie is very loving, she's, you know, she's a faithful person, so I know she's going to be faithful to you, no doubt. Um, I just want to say, you know, obviously take care of her, because you're taking her all the way, <laughs> so we won't be able, you know, to watch or anything, but I'm just so happy for you guys. Um, I pray that God blesses your marriage, blesses your children's children's children. 
Yeah, and you know, I just hope that you're happy in your marriage. I have no doubt that you'll be happy, and I pray to God that you'll be happy. Um, Jackie, thank you for being a part of us, being a part of a church fellowship. We love you. This is from everyone else that's not able to stand here and tell you. We love you so much. We care for you. We appreciate all that you've done for us, for the fellowship. You know, for all that you've done, we just appreciate you. Continue being you, and may the Lord bless you through your marriage. Amen. Thank you. Andrew and Jackie. Uh, the last few months have been very enjoyable for me in spending a number of sessions together with you. First of all, we were working on the wedding. And uh, I gave you a lot of different options and ideas and other weddings to look at. And you chose the words that you wanted to say to each other. And you put together the wedding that you wanted. And I thank you. It was enjoyable for me as a coach just to watch you put that together. It is distinctly your wedding, your words, your commitments. And that was very enjoyable for me to watch the two of you work that out together. But the thing that struck me the most is that for each of you, the Lord Jesus Christ is first in your life. And you deeply love one another, but you love him more. And everything we talked about, we covered every major issue uh, in that marriage life will have you face and how the Lord is supreme in every area and the attitude that you have toward one another and the readiness to adapt to one another, to hear one another's concerns. Um, there are many ways in which love and respect flowed in those conversations. And it was just a great encouragement for me to see what this would mean for you as you go forward. And you know, there's many things in scripture which are important for all of us but in the uh, fruit of the Spirit, the first three are love, joy, and peace. Uh, and you have a good start on all of those and the rest as well. But I pray that over the course of your marriage, you will be able to find what Judy and I in 50 years have found, that love, joy, and peace make for a rich marriage. And I want to close by just giving a word of blessing that the Lord will be with you. His face will shine upon you and he will fill you with his peace through the Lord Jesus Christ. And all God's people said, amen. amen. Before I say anything, I'll give her a moment to say hello. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First and foremost, I want to say congratulations to Jackie and Andrew. Hallelujah. I have had an opportunity to, uh, to pastor the entire family. I pastored uh, Jackie's my parents, mom and dad. And when Jackie came, I had an opportunity also to be a pastor to her. And when the siblings, the younger ones came, I had an opportunity to be the pastor. So I am so very honored to witness today, Jackie, that you are married to Andrew. It is such an honor. Andrew, you have taken one of my best the humble one she is a very humble girl she's quiet but she is very strong inside there you have taken the best of the many i have i have many do you have more brothers i'm just <laughs> so we i just want to say we wish you all the best we pray that uh, God may lead you and guide you. I don't know whether to pray for more children, but everyone stands here, they have prayed for children. 
but it is an honor to see this wedding. May the good Lord lead and guide and good luck. In Jesus' name. When uh, I met Andrew, having been introduced to us by Jackie, and we invited him several times to come to our office, I saw commitment. Because uh, Andrew lives a little ways from where we are, Connect Cut. But whenever we needed to talk to him, and uh, counsel and uh, direct, he was there. This guy is committed to this marriage. And for that, we thank God very much. We pray that the Lord will lead and guide, and that the Lord will draw you closer and closer to each other, to love one another, to respect one another, to help one another, to be there for one another and to lift up each other in Jesus' name. Now, to all the boys and the girls that are here that want to take the same step like Andrew and Jackie, it is possible. You know, they told us that after Jackie had stopped, finished school, she said she is ready for the next step. What is your desire? The Bible tells us that God will give you the desires of your heart. So if you so desire, I am going to pray. But God will give you the desire of your heart. For those that, all those that want to get married, for those that are already married, I pray that God will draw you closer and closer. But now this is a special prayer for those that are unmarried, and want to get married because some people are not married and they don't want. I'm not worried about those. But those that desire, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands, so don't worry about it. I'm just going to pray. <laughs> Father, we thank you. We bless you and we worship you. Because as we are on this wedding, we know that you can do all things. If you have done it for Andrew and Jackie, you can do it for all our daughters and our sons who are here that desire to be married. We bless you because you always make a way where there is no way. Since you promised to give us the desires of our hearts, in fact to fulfill them, I pray that whoever desires this noble act, that it will happen to them. I don't know how you do it, but you are God, and that's why you are God, because you do things that no man can do. So we look unto you, as others trust horses and chariots, we'll trust the name of our living God. We bless you and we worship you, because a word of testimony will come out of this wedding. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. And amen. <laughs> uh, we give God all the praise and the glory. Um, we've been called to seal what God has already sealed. <laughs> so you're already sealed in the grace of God. So um, this is my wife, Juliet Mtiava. And we are the parents of Joy right there. Those, if you didn't know. <laughs> yes. And... Um, I've known this family, the Kasasa family, for uh, a long time. And uh, we are there at their wedding. Uh, we officiated the wedding. So that's how I'm part of this family. So we wish you all the best in this marriage. Marriage is from God. Okay? Go and let God be in control and everything will be all right Amen. father we thank you for what you you plan before we even get to know about it so lord god i pray that this man will walk in your ways so this woman will live a happy life 
living with him. Father, I pray that this woman will be a woman after your heart. And in so doing, she will please this man in all that you intended. We give you the praise and the glory. Father, we pray that they shall enjoy this marriage. Father, we pray that they may walk and celebrate every day of their lives. For you intended marriage for happiness. You intended marriage for pleasure. You intended marriage for, pro, uh, uh, for bring, bringing forth children and nurturing them in the way of God. So, Lord God, we pray that your blessings will rest upon them now and forever. Lord, may your glory always be in their home. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
so happy I'm so happy it feels like a dream but it's not a dream um, I'm so thankful for everybody who has made it to our wedding God bless you so much because actually in the start my worry was that people may not show up <laughs> but I'm so glad that you all showed up for me and my husband Andrew so uh, and I also want to take this opportunity and to, th uh, to thank my parents for being here, for being with me, uh, for supporting me, for just loving me. Mom, thank you. Dad, thank you so much. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank my family in Uganda for all they've done for me over the years. Uh, God bless you so much and I love you so much and I, and I wish you were here, but thank you so much everyone. Sean, thank you so much for loving me, for helping me, for being there for me. And the youth team, I'm sorry, the young adults. <laughs> so the young adults, thank you so much. Kevin, Joy, thank you so much for that nice performance. It was beautiful. And I want to thank Andrew's family as well. Shree and Dave, thank you so much for loving me, for caring for me, like literally for being there. Yeah, and, and for having me in, t in your family. So anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, if I'm to thank everyone, it would take forever. But thank you, Aunt Rose and Aunt Goretti, for all you've done. I'm so grateful because this wedding has been no stress at all because of you. God bless you so much. And my pastor, Pastor Katende and Pastor Robert Segobe, Thank you so much for 
teaching me and for being loving me as well. Uh, that's all I can say for now, but I'll thank everybody personally, maybe later. And thank you everybody for coming. I love you so much. God bless you. Yes, uh, first of all, I just want to just praise God for just everything coming together. There was a lot of planning involved and uh, there was a lot of praying as well for the weather and I just praise the Lord for just making everything go so smoothly and um, I just want to thank uh, Jackie's family for raising her in, in the word and, uh, and just for being so welcoming to me and uh, just thank you so much for just supporting us as we've uh, started these preparations. So thank you so much. And uh, I want to thank uh, Pastor Katende for just giving us uh, blessings and counseling us as well. And the same to Pastor Dennis Ryder for coming down here and praying with us counseling with us through the beginning of marriage and uh, I just thank him for that and for all the family that's come down from Maine and New York and traveling uh, just I just want to thank you for coming down and going out of your way to get here that really means a lot and uh, yeah I just want to thank the Lord for just everything going so well and um, invite you if you don't currently have a relationship with Jesus Christ that he is the only God and he's a good father and he gives good things to his kids and he gave me a wonderful wife and he died for me and he rose for me in three days so if you don't have a relationship with Jesus I encourage you that that is the best decision that you could ever make and it has an eternal impact thank you Father would lift me high and dance with my mother.